Hello everyone, greetings from Munich, Germany. Very cold Munich, Germany. It's six degrees below zero. My name is Svetlana Mocha. I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. And in this video, I would like to talk to you about the matchmaking process, about what to expect after hiring a matchmaker. Very often singles, both men and women, they think that we are like this godmother fairy and we can create pure magic. In a sense, we do create pure magic because we have introduced over 150 marriages. We have helped over 150 couples to actually find each other, build a relationship, get married, and for many of them to have pretty babies, and this is our motivation. I feel really flattered that so many couples whom we have created over the years still watch our channel. Greetings to you guys, to whatever part of the world you are located at right now. Anyway, if we are talking about matchmaking, we can't create a superwoman or a superman, because just the other day I have been talking to a lady who wanted to join our database and she's in her early 50s and uh, she speaks English, she speaks French also. She lived in Switzerland for a long time and uh, she's a Ukrainian lady. She looks good for her 50s but she still is a lady in her 50s. She has been married before, uh, she's divorced, she has two grown-up kids and when I have asked her about the man she would like to date, she said that she would like to date someone up till 45 years old, so someone younger, and she would prefer him to be Spanish or Italian. I have asked her, but why Spanish or Italian? You don't speak Spanish or Italian language, because sometimes ladies tell me that I am open to date, for example, only someone from France because I speak French, uh, or I want to date only someone from Germany because I speak German, so it makes sense. But in this case, why Italy or Spain? Well, because I like this type, I like the dark hair, I like the dark eyes, I like these countries, so I like the culture, and I would prefer to date someone like that. But have you dated someone like that before? Why do you think a man uh, in his early 40s or late 30s would be interested in a lady in her 50s? Well, I don't know, but you're like a dating service, so for sure you have such men. Sasha, can we add the face palm here? Or for example, men who in real life are dating ladies their age, are dating ladies who have like the earth look, they don't look like these supermodels like Victoria's Secret Angels from 2000s. So they date normal women, but out of a sudden they think if I hire a matchmaker, I can aim for a supermodel. And of course, a desire of a 50 something years old lady to date a 35 years old Italian, and of course, she has to be wealthy because she can't go out with the man who earns less than she does. And this lady, she is a lawyer, so she has a good salary in Europe. So this desire is as verrucht, as they say in Germany, crazy, uh, as the desire of a gentleman from, let's say, Utah to date a supermodel who will be 30 years younger than he is. We don't create people. Of course, we can introduce you to a lady who matches your criteria has similar long-term goals and values and usually it takes hundreds of interview to pre-select several ladies like that and to arrange the dates for two of you uh, hoping that uh, you will start a relationship with one of these ladies and of course the fact that your long-term goals align that your values are very similar your way of life is very similar your understanding about relationship about religion about money about kids is very similar of course uh, all this increases your chances to build a meaningful connection that can grow into a relationship with such a lady. Of course, we introduce our clients to ladies who match their criteria, uh, the age group, the level of education, uh, her desire to have not to have kids, and her values and long-term goals, like I have mentioned, like hundreds of interviews. And after investing so much time into this process, after doing these hours of interviews, when a gentleman tells us, and I want her to have blue eyes, and I want her to be blonde, and okay, Svetlana, like, Really, she mentions all the criteria, but can you find me something like her, but only two centimeters taller? Well, I want to roll my eyes. I'm not creating a car for you, so I can't have the same modification, but in another color. You know, we humans, we come up uh, at a package deal as we are, so I can't uh, copy-paste Anna and add blue eyes or blonde hair. I can't do that. 
So as a professional matchmaker, I can make sure that you are meeting people who are excited to meet you, who are single, who are who they claim they are. Uh, I can make sure that she will be of the exact age, of exact education. You won't be surprised that she has five kids, or for example, a husband. This I can control. I can't control affection and mutual interest because during the date it will be your job to make sure you catch her attention. It will be your job to make sure she wants to go out with you on a second date. I can get you the dates, I can save you lots of time so that you won't have to fish out uh, the proper candidates on Tinder. I will save you lots of time, I will prevent lots of disappointments of no show ups and you will actually get the feedback and you will be able to improve your dating strategy, to improve your flirting skills because sometimes we all need a third person to look from the side and to tell us the truth and when you act this way or when you say such things, this is how it makes the other person feel. But I am not a magician. I can't control that ladies who share your values, share your long-term goals, ladies who like your type uh, will have blue eyes or green eyes or black, dark hair or dark blonde hair or chestnut hair. I can't control that. I can introduce you to a real person. I can't create a perfect image. Because sometimes some singles, they make me feel like if I was working at the dog or a cat shelter and a lady or a man is coming over and trying to choose the best breed of the best age with the best character, it doesn't work like that. Of course, it is okay to have some preference. So usually ladies are attracted to taller guys. Some men prefer some curves on ladies. Other men like skinnier girls and usually we pay close attention to the physical type because I know that, for example, this client, he prefers ladies who have some shape on them and this client here will find such a girl way too big because he himself is skinny. But try to add into this combination of common goals, values, level of education, understanding about all the important things, hair color, eye color, exact height, exact age, astrological sign, etc. It makes it insane, it makes it impossible to find the person who match all these criteria. Not only this person whom you are describing has to exist somewhere on this planet, she has to be looking for your type. Because like this 50-something years old lady has described this uh, Spanish or Italian businessman in his late 30s or early 40s who so has to be willing to date a lady in her 50s, well, I'm sure there are guys like that in Italy or in Spain, but they are not looking for her type. So I'm sure there are ladies who look like Victoria's Secret Angels and they have their model contracts and they work for model agencies and they date actors or they date billionaires and millionaires. It doesn't mean that she will be willing to date an accountant from Utah or Nebraska. Love is not just about pretty picture and not just about what you want to see in her. It's also about what you have to offer. So you want her to be very attractive, much younger, speak the language, English, French, etc., have two university degrees, etc. And what do you have to offer? Like your, lo your love and heart? That's it? I am sorry if this video is too harsh. It's extremely honest. I believe it's important to be honest uh, with our potential clients and with current clients. We are very straightforward. I hope that uh, you will choose your partner for all the right reasons. I hope that you will hire a matchmaker when you are mentally ready for this, when you are ready to get honest feedback and when you are ready to meet real people with real feelings and build a real relationship. I want to wish you only real love of real women and it is fantastic. I hope you will feel it. I wish you love. Svetlana Muha, especially for Diola.com from Munich, Germany.